Worldwide firestorm of questions raised has forced some into a position of desperation damage control to keep this documentary from being seen or accepted by the masses. Why have these efforts been made to keep you from seeing this documentary and simply asking common sense questions? Find out. You must see 9-11 in plain sight, the director's cut, and share it with as many people as possible. Call 877-817-9829 to order your copy. That's 877-817-9829. Unless these questions are answered honestly, the world could be plunged into a third world war. Stop this madness. Call 877-817-9829 today and order your copy of 9-11 in plain sight, the director's cut. The Idaho Observer is one of the last independent American presses and isn't afraid to print the truth. The Idaho Observer is a monthly 24-page hard copy newspaper in its fifth year of addressing important issues affecting all freedom-loving Americans. If you are concerned about the burgeoning national debt and the Orwellian police state growing up around you, then subscribe to the Idaho Observer. Only $25 for 12 monthly issues. Idaho Observer readers receive vital insight into events as they unfold. Our articles editorially emphasize activism and serve as a networking tool for like-minded individuals determined to make a difference. The Idaho Observer, printing what you need to be fully informed on issues that matter to real Americans. Go to idaho-observer.com or call 208-255-2307. That's 208-255-2307. Folks, welcome back to the light of day. Coming to you live from the Sonora Desert in Tucson, Arizona. We're live Wednesday evening, May 2nd, 2007. We're going to be joined now by our featured guest, Sherry Schreiner. Here's a quick bio on Sherry. She's a graduate from Kent State University and says the Lord led her into the New World Order and daily agenda nine years ago and has stood has stood her up to a be a mouthpiece to mankind she's an avid student of bible prophecy and has over 20 websites on the internet including the watcherfiles.com sherry schreiner.com sherry talk radio.com chemtrail agenda.com hidden codes.com and many many others she covers various topics on aliens ufos mind control Soul scalping joint military and alien underground bases and the coming UFO and alien invasion. Sherry, by the way, folks, is also a fellow Edge Broadcasting Network broadcaster. I never really get a chance to hear her show because I'm so incredibly busy, but anyway, we'll bring her on board. Hello, Sherry. Welcome aboard. Hi, how you doing? Hi, um so how would you like to open the show tonight for my audience? Well, I'm not real sure what your audience is used to you talking about, but uh, when I'm around, it's usually aliens and UFOs. Uh, the New World Order agenda is vast. Most people see the political realm. Uh, I was led into the alien realm years ago by the Lord, and it encompasses everything. The New World Order itself has so many different parts and aspects to it. It's just like a huge web that just surrounds the earth. Is is it your opinion that all the alien entities visiting our world are are only negative? 
That's what I believe. That's what the Bible teaches. I mean, if they were standing angels and they were friendly, they would be in heaven with the Most High, uh, not touring Earth, abducting humans, implanting humans with chips, uh, leading us into uh, mind control, chip implantations. All of these things that the New World Order is doing to people uh, have come from alien technology. It's Satan's goal to rule the world in a global government, and in these uh, human uh, Illuminati families, such as the Bushes, are the ones implementing his agenda on Earth. Wow, fascinating. Um, what state are you in, by the way? I'm in Ohio. Ohio. I'm from Wisconsin originally. I'm pretty close. Um, I'm out in Arizona now, though. Yeah, you're out in the you're out in the desert. Probably see a lot more action out there than we do. Of course, we get our fair share of nighttime activity out here. Actually, uh, I believe actually I believe there's a a secret underground base within three miles of my house here. Um, I always see these Wacken Hut uh, buses driving around at two three o'clock in the morning out here where I live. Yeah, Wacken Hut is one of their security forces that they use for the underground bases. Right, and their cover story is they have a new contract here in Tucson to cover border patrol issues, but that could just be a cover story because I'll sometimes see them going north out of Tucson while the border's not north of Tucson. Right. Well, are you close to the Four Borders area, Four Corners area? Oh, no, we're, I'm way down in southern Arizona. Okay, I'm not too real good on geography. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, they're just everywhere. There's over 119 deep underground military bases, and over half of them are joint human and alien bases. And when you see <coughs> Wake and Hut involved with these underground bases, then you know it's most likely a, a joint alien and human base. Did you hear about what happened to Anna Billups? Uh, yeah, I heard about that. I was probably one of the last people on the Internet that heard about her death, and I, I just had to shake my head over that. Well, she she passed away here, and I think it was back in January. You think her account is true of what happened to her? Um, you know what? I just you know I met Hannah years ago, um, before all that had broken out on the edge with her. Oh, you knew her personally? Yeah, I had met her um, just indirectly on the internet, uh, and she was a very nice woman. She had she had told me about uh, her home in West Virginia and that she had been preparing it for the Lord's people during the hardships that are coming and. And we had developed a friendship over time, uh, and then I just kind of lost contact with her. Uh, and then she, uh, I was uh, made aware of her interviews with Daniel Lott and her alien abduction and, and everything that she had gone through up to that point. Uh, during that whole time, I was pretty much uh, homeless last summer. And so, you know, you kind of go through a lot of harassments and, and, and techniques from the government to shut up the big mouths, and I was going through one of those times last year. And so I missed out on a lot of that simply because I just wasn't on the Internet at the time. Uh, but I did hear about, uh, you know, and I just, I just said to Daniel in my interview with him, I said, how many people die from a broken knee? <laughs> you know, it's, it's pretty odd in America in this day and age of modern medicine uh, to fall off a horse, break your knee, and end up dying of a bone fragment somewhere. So yeah, a, similar, a similar thing happened to some guy, I think his name is Jim Keith. He was exposing the black helicopter thing, I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're not being suicided anymore. They're just dying of broken knees, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, so do you, do suicided you th by gunshots <laughs> in the back of your head or whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you think Ann is right on that a lot of these missing children are being held at these underground bases? Oh, yeah. I've been screaming about that for years. And when I first started listening to her interview with Dan, I'm like... She must have spent a lot of time reading my stuff on the website because the stuff she was saying uh, was stuff I'd been saying on my website for years about the Dulcie base. And here we have it out uh, in the, in the uh, Denver airport. And that whole area is owned by the Queen of England. And so you have this, this Denver airport with a huge mammoth underground base and shuttle system out there. And that was the one she was pretty much exposing. And so we have several of them. I had heard for years about uh, children being imprisoned in the Denver airport base, uh, being forced to uh, you know, child labor underneath that base. And so everything she was saying was just stuff I'd heard uh, pretty much. Uh, it's a little bit different because in Denver we're hearing about children being used in forced labor. labor and in Dulce, they're just being locked up in cages. Yeah, I used to know of a woman out there by the name of Krista Tilton. She was taken to that underground base in Dulce. Have you ever heard of her? No, I've never heard of her. 
Yeah, well, she was one of the primary people that was taken against her will there, but then she had later changed her story that it was a secret underground base um, in Marana, Arizona, just north of Tucson here. And then me and my friend were in touch with